Okay, now we're going to do the same process but with a 3 by 3 and it works exactly the same way. So we have a system of three equations, three variables, so we need to um, find our determinants. So we're going to start off with the, term, the determinant of the coefficient matrix. So on the calculator I'm going to find the determinant of this matrix here just without the plus signs and the x, y's, and z's. Okay, so I typed that in. I typed in the letters D, E, and T did open parentheses and then input a 3 by 3 matrix in between those parentheses and then typed in the coefficients here. Okay, hit enter. And so now we have D, the determinant of the coefficient matrix, is negative 363. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to copy and paste that. But now find D of X, which is you take your column that were the X coefficients and replace them with the answers. Okay. So then d of x comes out to be negative 2,541. Now, if we wanted to right now, we could find x by taking d of x and dividing it by d. And we get 7. So in this system of equations, x has to be 7. Okay. Now to find y, we're going to take our original coefficient matrix. So don't copy and paste d of x. Copy and paste the original one. And now we're going to take this middle column and replace it with the answers. So we get negative 43, negative 8, and negative 29. And let me fix that. Hit enter, and that's d of y. So y is going to be d of y divided by d. So I'm going to go up and copy that, and we get y is negative 5 for the solution to this system. Alright, to find z, you would take the original coefficient matrix, copy and paste that, to find d of z, we're going to replace this third column, which were the coefficients for y, with the answers. And that represents d of z. So z is going to be d of z divided by d, the original determinant of the coefficient matrix. And we get 2. So our final answer uh, for the system, x is going to be 7, dx divided by d. y is going to be negative 5, dy divided by d and then z is going to be negative 2. And if you plug those values in for x, y, and z into any of these equations, they will satisfy each equation.